Hey everyone, welcome back to Happy Game. I'm Disturbing Puppet, and this is not a happy game. So, let's continue. Hopefully it'll start right back where we left off. We're kind of uh, chasing after our dog in a weird swamp kind of thing, and then uh, keep getting sucked below the water, and then having weird hallucinations and stuff. Uh, so this is the first we've seen this. Got lightning. I don't really see much that I can... No, I can spin stuff. Okay. Oh. Okay. Can we go the other way? No. So we can just speed stuff up. That's about it. Let's try to go as fast as we can. Bond here. I'm kind of looking for my body, probably. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a creepy face. Of course it's a creepy face! Kind of looking for my body. I don't know what the deal is. Anything? Just trees. feet. Oh, I'm inside. is looking much more ominous now. Yeah, we keep doing this, kind of floating into the water and then having weird stuff happen. Okay, now it's not. Hmm. You look familiar. Should grab that. Oh, okay, you can grab me. That's not so great either. <laughs> okay.
It's supposed to be like spider webby or stitch both? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably not good. Found the spikes again. Okay, that's not very nice. Cartoon fall. Hmm. I'm not in my body. So my bunny, my ball, the dog. <laughs> it's like my nightlight, maybe the weird, freaky smiley face it wouldn't surprise me, something like that. bed, I think. <laughs> Got a dream catcher up there. Dougie! The dreams are when we're a kid in the room. <laughs> yep, you're the big freaky smiley face. Oh, is that it? Oh. Really? That was it? Let's go ahead and continue. No, we just go back to this part. Okay. Alright, so we'll go through again. Yeah, I didn't feel like the big freaky face was actually like a threat or trying to hurt me before, except for maybe once. 
it kind of seemed more like it was there as sort of a representation of what I wanted or my anger or my irritation or something like that. The visuals and the sound in this have just been fantastic. This is such a well-designed game as, from that perspective. Is wonderful. I don't remember the dream catcher being there. I wonder if it was actually there earlier. Like, I'm assuming this is supposed to be morning. There's light coming in from the window. Everything's good. Our toys are all here. We still have our puppy. No teenagers have tortured it to death in front of us yet. And then, is this. like dead in the future at some point, like thinking back on those memories, and then being trapped. I'm not sure what this would be, but... Happy end. Yeah, the, that very last part makes me wonder, but I think the earlier part is kind of implying, like, as an adult, you still have some of your... Like, it seemed like it's the same room. Some of the stuff is still there, but not everything is there, and you're lying on the ground, and you look like you're not in good shape. I'm kind of curious. I'll take a look at the credits and see if there's anything. <laughs> The people who did this have got to have at least been very inspired by Jonan Vasquez, uh, I would assume. This is it, huh? Everybody made the game. That's pretty cool. I like the this design for the credits. I thought we might have a little bit more. But yeah, everything in this game was really well designed. I like that a lot. Um, it's a really cool, you know, very short little puzzle game. But uh, yeah, it's just the... Yeah, I guess it must have been there, because it's kind of there. Yeah, I'm not really 100% sure on what they're implying by the ending, but I kind of feel like you were older or an adult in the same room and like you were dead, potentially. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing about flashing back to real stuff, flashing back to memories of dreams, memories of real instances. Like here the dog looks older than a puppy, but it's hard to tell. But yeah, so this has been Happy Game. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was kind of a fun little ride. So a little bit short on this one, but uh, what you going to do? didn't realize how close we were to the end. All right, so we'll come back and try planning on something else in the near future. I'm not sure exactly what that will be, but I have a couple ideas. So until then, I've been Disturbing Puppet. Have a good one.